Hey guys, Cheng Yu here and another week another stock portfolio update. Starting the video red because this week we ended red thanks to GameStop. Also, this video will be purely reviewing my long term stock portfolio and I'll be leaving whatever investment news I have for another video because I realize that my stock portfolio update videos are really taking too long now. Alright, it's over 20 minutes long sometimes because I just have too much things to say. So I've decided to separate these videos so it becomes more relevant for you guys to decide what you want to watch. With that said, I'll move on to my stock portfolio update. Alright, let's get on the Yahoo Finance app. Today is the 30th of January on a Saturday night. Okay, close to 9.45pm. So my current holdings this week... We had $10,900, we're down close to $700, 12% in a single week, thanks to GameStop. So what's going on is that GameStop is currently getting a lot of hype, and people are moving their money from other stocks into GameStop. And this is caused by FOMO, which is short for the fear of missing out. This is a kind of scary cycle because it not only just stops there, but it continues as more people continue to pull out money all right, to pump into GameStop. As the previous weeks were really good, all right, people are heavily invested, such as myself as well. A lot of money are into the stocks they hold. And when they see GameStop is doing so well, all right, and they have no money from elsewhere to take and buy GameStop, what they do is sell their other stocks and buy into GameStop. It becomes a vicious cycle where other stock prices shows a small dip, GameStop goes up really fast, and what they see is, I can lose a little bit of money for insane gains like this. So they continue to sell and GameStop continue to go up, and this is what happens. So you can say GameStop is sucking up all the money from other stocks, and this is what is happening this week. So stocks that were hitting all-time highs last week are actually facing a retracement right now. So they're just, you know, going down. And yes, all the money is being funneled into GameStop. So this is why GameStop is extremely high right now. And this is how people actually have so much money to fund into GameStop. It's because people take money from somewhere and bring it somewhere. Money has almost the same analogy as energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed, but can be transferred from one form to another all right in this case when money is not being printed or destroyed okay money is being transferred from one hand to another and in this case from one stock which is majority of the stock market just being transferred into GameStop and this is what we are seeing here all right the fear of missing out so let's carry on so we're down 12% this week because I'm not holding GameStop because Yes, but uh, I think it might be a little late to start on GameStop. Not saying that it's bad. I mean, it's pretty uh, a pretty entertaining and hype movement that we are going against big institutions. So, I'm all for it. But it's just not fun when I'm a victim of it, you know. This is my long-term portfolio. I'm holding stocks that are, you know, being affected. But it's alright, because long-term stocks are meant to be held long-term. So it's fine. So let's get right into the portfolio. Okay, sort them out by shares. You can see that everything is down from last week. And even from the last day of market open last Friday, we are down. Tesla last week was up close to 80%. So was ARC G. This week we are at 69% and 65% respectively. All right, let's see Tesla. All right, Tesla dipped this week. Okay, because it didn't hit its earnings calls expectation. We can see here that in 2020, Tesla managed to beat its quarter 1, quarter 2, and quarter 3 earnings. However, they missed for quarter 4. And they missed pretty badly. And you can actually see that their next quarter 1 earnings for 2021 is expected to be lower than what they managed to hit now. So this doesn't look good for Tesla at all and this is why the price actually dipped pretty badly. 
but no worries, no worries. Okay, Tesla is still a long-term company. It's still a good long-term hold. Bad news in the short term, but good news for long-term investors who want to enter Tesla. Alright, Tesla has been pretty high at 100 plus now. Thankfully, due to this news, alright, it's not all bad. Alright, there's some good things as well in the earning calls. So, they just didn't manage to hit their earnings expectations and that and together with the GameStop saga that's going on right now Tesla price dipped pretty significantly and it's below $800 now so if you're looking to get in it's actually a really good price to get in at I'll recommend if you can get in below $800 it's really good all right currently I'm still holding my money because I do not know when this GameStop drama is going to end so if it continues, people will have to continue putting out money from other stocks to fund, to buy into GameStop and that will cause other stock prices to continue falling. So I might just continue to hold my money and see where this goes. This is what I'm currently doing for my short term portfolio which I trade very frequently. I just cut my losses at 1.5k recently, I'll leave that for another video. All right, but with my long term portfolio right here, I'm just going to be holding my stocks and I'll be just riding this wave. Whatever good or bad, I will have to take them all. But it doesn't quite matter in the short term because I've invested quite a while ago. So overall my portfolio is still up. Okay, next is ARCG. We are up 65% in total gains. I would say we are down close to about 13-14% from last week. Alright, so looking at RG stock holding right now, it seems that Pacific Biosciences has overtaken and became the first on the top holdings list, which was previously held by CRISPR Therapeutics, which is now in third place. I think this is something we can keep an eye on for Pacific Biosciences. Okay, so this is how RG looks like. We managed to hit all time high last week, but this week, it just went back down again, right? Because it's a it's an ETF, so it holds many other different stocks. And when the stock market in general gets affected, generally it will go down. And also, let's get into Up K. The same for Up K, right? Up K went down as well, pretty badly, but it's fine, all right. When things go down, we should look at it as a discount. And it's now at $137. Significant drop. So for those who are looking to enter, this is a good time to enter. Alright, let's take a look at C Limited. 39% in total gains. Bad week for all my stocks. C Limited is no exception. Down from $240 this week to almost $200. So a lot of people are really getting onto the GameStop boat. Alright, let's take a look at Bitcoin. So you can see Bitcoin was actually generally going down. But then the sudden spike on Friday was caused by Elon Musk. Alright, Elon Musk really has the power to make any stock go stonks. Alright, so <clears throat> Elon Musk didn't even tweet about this. He just changed his bio to hashtag Bitcoin. And then people already spread that news like wildfire. And the price just went up all the way, 14% within a few hours. Really insane. But it went back down again, so I'm actually quite glad because I'm still waiting for Bitcoin to actually go down before I put in a huge or at least a significant amount of my money into Bitcoin. Alright, let's look at the rest of the other stocks. And of course, GameStop. Let's take a look at GameStop since everybody is like talking about it and looking at it. Let's just review it for this week. This GameStop drama thing is crazy. All right, it really started from like four dollars a while back. The highest has, the highest it has hit four hundred eighty-three dollars. Can you believe if you put five dollars a few months back, and it now became about four hundred, five hundred plus dollars? That's seriously insane. All right, let's take a look at AMC. AMC as well is another crazy insane stock. Right, why people are picking these stocks? Because they are being shorted a lot. Alright. 
short selling. Short selling is basically borrowing a stock high. When the price is high, you sell it off high with the expectation of the price dropping low. So you can buy back in low and then return it to the other person. All right, that's how shorting basically works. And then you make the difference. Instead of buying low, selling high, you sell high and you buy low. And that's pretty much it for this week. Um, game stock saga, this drama and all is crazy right now. Right, and I think many people are getting into investing thanks to this. I think it's kind of like a good movement. I think investing can be one of the greatest financial decisions we can ever make in our lives. And it's definitely good to start young. You'll realize that when you get into investing. Right, you always think, why didn't I start any sooner? Alright, so because of this, I've been getting requests, you know, on how to start investing. So I've decided that I'll create a video to guide beginners, like complete beginners on how to start investing, like how I got into investing myself as well. So you guys can take the first step to start investing. I hope it has been a great week for you. It isn't in the stock market if you're not in GameStop. So yeah. Anyway, that's all I have. Smash the like button, leave a comment if you have any questions or any feedbacks. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet to be notified the next time I post a video. I don't think the GameStop saga is going to end anytime soon. Alright, I expect it at least for the next week. So we will see. I'll keep a close eye on it and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.